Automate. This is why XRP needs Interledger. So what I'm saying is Interledger payments plus digital assets are what we need to build the Internet of Value. We need an exchange protocol that allows money to move across these different ledgers. And we need, we need digital assets too. Digital assets can do things that other assets can't do. For example, they can settle across countries and they can be universal. So what do I mean by that? I have some dollars in my pocket. I have some dollars in a bank account. I have some dollars in my pocket. I have some dollars in a bank account. And dollars can be in all different places. I might have a brokerage account. Maybe I do some forex trading. Dollars have to be somewhere. And so if you know I have $1,000 and I want to give you $1,000, it can be incredibly difficult for me to do that. Your dollars have to be somewhere. And so all of us may have many piles of dollars, big and small, depending on what we think our needs are. Some of our dollars are in a savings account. Some of them are in a checking account. Some of them, they're all over the place because they're not universal. When you have a digital asset, it's universal in the sense that wherever it is, it can get any place else that asset can go in a very quickly and easy to understand way. If I have bitcoins and they're liquid, wherever I have them, I know what, they, what, they, what it's going to look like to transfer them to someplace else. So you can easily settle across multiple systems using these assets because you don't have to build some sort of common place for that asset to be. And if you build a common place for that asset to be, and everybody does that, you've just sort of reinvented the same problem like we did with, uh, with the blockchains.